Hello, hello everyone, welcome back. And in previous video, I have discussed uh, the tool set flight where we were uh, using that particular tool for getting into the location, call history, and all. But if you are a uh, little interested in social engineering and can share some links to your victim, like uh, you may be thinking, like how hacker just uh, uh, track anyone's location just by sending their link. So, in this video, uh, we will be exploring a particular tool named as uh, Seeker. Uh, that uh, we will be using today to track the locations, exact latitude and longitude location, even the Google map links of that particular person whom you have sent the link, you will be getting. And there are various uh, methods to send the links and uh, hide that. So I will be looking for that. So uh, first, uh, I'm just uh, going to the particular page of a seeker GitHub. Seeker uh, GitHub. So uh, this is uh, the page, like it's from a whiteboard uh, slash seeker. And uh, Seeker is a uh, open source tool, like uh, you don't have to pay anything for this and it's open source and you can also modify some of its function also and it is freely available on a GitHub and it is basically used for geolocation tracking uh, by uh, leveraging the social engineering techniques and it works by um, basically hosting the fake website that uh, tricks the target to allow their location and uh, like uh, you will be able to host uh, WhatsApp and all and if you use this tool you will be able to get the latitude longitude 100 percent accuracy attitude uh, and then the direction uh, all the things you will be getting like even uh, your image if uh, is a movie you, you will be able to track them out in this uh, particular case also so um, it will be a great tool if you, you want to learn this so today we will be discussing so if i want to use this first i will be coming here to clone this particular uh, repo so here is the link like you just need to click uh, on the quotes and from here you can clone it out and now i will be uh, using my terminal mm, sorry terminator i will be using out because it's a uh, little easy to use it out so here it is and i will be putting the clone and the repository link over here and now it's showing like uh, it's already exists so i will be moving to cd and then the seeker and now i am into the seeker and after that i just have to give the permissions to a uh, seeker like uh, i can give it using the ch mode mm, ch mode uh, plus x install.sh install.sh and now uh, it has installed and then now uh, to install its required repositories and all i will be doing dot slash install.sh and now it is looking for its dependencies that it need to be installed and uh, it has uh, installed some of them and only python 3 is well but uh, no issues with that uh, that is already available over there so no problem with that and now i am ready to install so i can simply use python seeker.py and now here uh, here the tool is available so uh, let me go with a uh, near you so i when i go with a uh, near you uh, it is starting over my uh, local server like uh, it has started over my local server i provide the links to, uh, that i can send to the target and uh, so uh, let me uh, go through the links once again so i will be going over uh, my website uh, colon 8080 so here uh, it is like right now it's only on my local host uh, i just after uh, doing this i will be looking for how i can uh, take this out on the public internet and how we can use this outside our network so if i just simply click over here even all the devices it will give me uh, something like uh, allows the location i will i will be not doing that i will be simply i have just uh, continued that even if uh, your victim continue it you will be getting tons of information regarding that uh, here it's uh, facing the information uh, let me allow it down okay so uh, just just uh, give it a minute okay so here it is uh, loading all the information waiting for the client okay so here it has find some of the details like uh, it has find out the operating system what is the platform of it uh, it's a cpu uh, it's ram uh, all the details it has find it out it's public ip it has tried to find it out and it was not like uh, location is not available because i have not permitted it out uh, so uh, it is not giving us so let's move to the point like how we can um, install uh, seeker over 
our um, local uh, outside our local host so for doing that i will be taking help of our cloudflare and after that i will be also using ngro so first uh, let me start with cloudflare okay so uh, if uh, we want to use this outside the network then we will be using cloudflare a uh, cloudflare tunnel basically allows you to expose seeker to the internet without port forwarding so uh, first of all we will be downloading uh, cloudflare so i'm just opening splitting the terminal and then i will be using wcat uh, wcat and uh, this particular link like https uh, you will be easily finding it on a uh, github also so i'm just uh, cop i have just uh, copied this link from a uh, github uh, here you will be getting this out like uh, if you just uh, simply uh, simply come over here uh, from here you can also clone it out uh, this uh, okay, downloading uh, cloudflare uh, link and then once i press enter it will be trying to install it out and uh, now it is installing cloudflare over my uh, system so now uh, cloudflare is being installed over my system then i will be uh, giving the executable permission to cloudflare so uh, i will be just uh, let me exit this terminal exit this terminal once again i will be coming back to this after some time okay so i hope uh, my screen is uh, easily visible over here so if i just uh, now i need to give the executable permission so i will be giving it a ch mode plus x cloudflare uh, linux md or uh, 64 because it's of a 64 bit and now it has uh, executable like uh, it has uh, given uh, granted the executable permission to the cloudflare linux uh, to make it runnable and now i can basically move uh, move the cloudflare to the system directory for that i will be doing uh, sudo uh, mb uh, sudo mb and uh, then the cloudflare uh, cloudflare linux um, amd and i am just moving it to the uh, system directory so once i press enter i need to put my password because it's on a sudo u and now it is being uh, moved to the my uh, system environment and now i can use cloudflare can and i can run cloudflare from anywhere so now i will be checking like uh, what is the cloudflare version i am having so if i just uh, go with uh, its a uh, version uh, now uh, its uh, version is uh, this one like uh, it is of a latest version uh, like uh, 22 uh, 20, 000, uh, 25, uh, 2025.2.1 so this is the particular version of a cloudflare right now so now i can use so uh, we have already uh, we already are into uh, seeker directory so uh, now i can run the seeker so for that i will be uh, using like uh, python 3 python 3 uh, once again python 3 seeker.py and now seeker is being run out and now i we will be looking like how we can use this outside our uh, outside our internet and how we can use it uh, from like uh, if i want to get the location of my android devices or if i want to track someone's android device how we can look for that so we will, now we will be looking so uh, let me do one thing i'm just uh, going with a whatsapp link so once i pray, press enter and uh, i'm just giving it name as a hacking group and uh, uh, image path i need to give so first i will be uh, downloading a image and then i will be giving it a path so uh, it's a uh, hacker image uh, let me download this one save image any image i can download i'm just saving this particular image and i want to okay i'm just replacing it okay so now uh, the image is being downloaded so let me go to the folder uh, where uh, it is so uh, it might be in my downloaded folder so here uh, here this particular image i have downloaded so i will be simply copying this image and i will paste it in seeker folder so it will be easily available there so if i just move over here it is seeker over here and i'm just testing it out so i'm just replacing it because uh, previously i am also having that so i'm just replacing and now um, now this particular file is being copied over here so i want to uh, give it the, so uh, let me copy uh, the image uh, location so uh, here is the location of the image so i will be simply copying this uh, i am just copying the location now the location is being put i need to put the slash over here and then i will be putting the image name so it is the image name so uh, i am just uh, copying the image name and uh, here is the image name too so now that is being loaded and now uh, it has started over my php server and now i can use this so now uh, now i can um, use that uh, using my local host on uh, 127.0.8080 but uh, 
now i have to do some uh, open the cloud flare terminal to use this so i'm just uh, splitting it vertically and now i will be opening my um, cloud flare terminal so for that i will be using uh, so uh, let me you uh, open the cloud flare terminal uh, uh, tunnel so clo ut uh, cloud flare uh, tunnel and uh, this is my uh, local host so once i press enter uh, the cloud flare tunnel is opening so now uh, it will provide us a link that we will be uh, using that uh, for tracking anyone and all so once again let me find it find the link over here that it is okay once again uh, i'm just uh, moving this terminal a little bit this side okay so um if i go with uh, this cl uh, cloud flare terminal uh we can easily find the link uh, okay uh which is the link uh, let me check it out okay so uh this is the link that uh, we can uh copy here to uh, track anyone so here you will be finding the link and these are the cloud flare uh, utilities so if I just uh, let me first uh, check with my own browser, if it's uh, working or not, then we, I will be sending this link uh, to my uh, mm -hmm. um, Windows and then Android devices. So if I just press over here, so uh, it's showing like uh, here is the WhatsApp uh, invite link. It is showing if I press join chat, it will uh, tell me to allow the uh, location. Once I allow it over here mm -hmm. uh, and uh, do a join. Okay, so. Uh, let me uh, just remember it out and once i allow it is not opening over here but if i just uh, go to the terminal and uh, let me this side so here it has uh, given us a lot of details like uh, um, uh, all these things i have find uh, but uh, location is not in uh, not available over here because on my terminal i have hidden all of my location details if i even allow my uh, my cookout well, I might allow my Firefox to take my location, still it will be not able to take the location. So I will be sending that particular link to my Windows and uh, then we will be showing you. So just give me one minute, I will be sharing that link to uh, Windows once again. Okay, so now I have uh, copied uh, that particular link uh, into my uh, clipboard and once I uh, start open here and here is the link that we have put in here. So if I just uh, get back. Uh, to the link that uh, we have generated of our, our terminal so so uh, this is the particular link that we have generated so uh, this link i'm just trying to open it in my windows uh, so uh, i can uh, show you like uh, it, it it is tracking outside the network or not so if i press enter uh, let it be so here again it has shown us the whatsapp group invite link if i press join chat it will uh, help uh, tell to um, locate then i will be allowing it for some time and it's showing like some all the maximum participant is being reached and you can't uh, get into the group but if i uh, go over my uh, terminal it will show us the result like uh, here uh, it is showing us all the results like it's a uh, windows uh, platform uh, what is its public ip all the details like uh, uh, everything uh, we can easily find it out e over here even at that particular time on my windows i'm still hiding my location but uh, my public ip is visible and uh, so you can like uh, do something try to reach out me uh, if possible for you because even i will be hiding this out so uh, these are the details you will be able to find but if your victim is not hiding uh, its location you will be able to find uh, that's how you basically uh, do seeker there are a few other options to use it outside the network also like if you want to use this outside okay i have uh, mistakenly cut it out so i have to run it again so if you want to use this outside the network you can also use using the cloudflare if you like here still cloudflare is running if i want to like uh, if you want to go with some other stuff like if you want to uh, use this using the telegram link then you can uh, click and then again i'm just uh, this thing any link you can put over here image path a sim simple similar image part i can put it forward so let me copy the previous image path so this image path again i will be loading like uh, and uh, like in this video i have also shown you like how you can copy the images and how i can how you can put that so group description is uh, xyz anything i can put over here members 44 and uh, member one line is 21 and now it has started the php server 
and again I have to go to the cloud here to look it out but uh, I will be just going with the local host so open the browser then local host local host 8080 okay yeah, I have not posted it properly uh, because uh, previous uh, was opened or local host so let me okay so now it is being shown because previously my uh, whatsapp link was also open so that's why it, uh, it was not seen now it is showing us the telegram link if i press enter again it will tell us to allow and then again uh, just give it a few seconds it will be loading all the details of that particular stuff so now it's showing everything regarding that. So mm, that's how you basically uh, track down the locations and all. So I'm just uh, uh, taking this out uh, session right now. And after uh, this session, uh, you will be able to track all the location and everything. So if you find any issues, make sure to um, put your uh, issues in comment section. I will be trying to help you out. And uh, that's all. That's all for this video. Thank you.